Hey guys, so we've reached the end of the Fruit of the Spirit challenge. We thank God for equipping us and enabling us to study these nine characteristics of the Fruit of the Spirit. I just wanted to clarify something for everyone. We have studied the Fruit of the Spirit, so it is singular. It's not fruits. There aren't multiple spirits. It's one spirit producing all of these nutrients for us. So yes, we do use the word fruit and fruits interchangeably, but we are speaking about one spirit and one fruit. Um, someone gave a really good example of um, an orange and how it has different segments. That's how the fruit of the spirit is. It has different characteristics, different nutrients, all of equal importance. So it's, it is important that whilst we are striving to have all nine nutrients, if you feel like you're struggling with certain nutrients such as um, self-control or patience, don't neglect it still pursue still like persevere um, to strengthen it you wouldn't see an apple that has like an extremely large side and one small you know shoddy area no we want to have we want to be consistent all around and we want to continue to strive to have all nine characteristics and really walk in the fullness of the fruit of the spirit and i just want to encourage you to really persevere because now that you know this stuff you will be tested you know there will be situations where your patience will be tested where you can choose to administer self-control or neglect it so i want to encourage you to really hold steadfast to all that you've learned throughout these seven days and yeah remember god's word is there god's word is your guide don't neglect it when you neglect it you forsake all self-control so yeah, God bless you for getting involved and I look forward to the next challenge. I'm still thinking and waiting for the Holy Spirit to tell me which one we're going to do next. But yeah, we give God the glory. Amen. <laughs> God bless.